mixed race people, biracial people of any mixture are not black. And the reason why we are not black, I say we because I'm also biracial, I'm half white and half black, one parent from Zambia, one parent from Ireland. The reason why we are not black is because we are 50% created and produced by white people and by other non-black races. That means that we literally physically come out of the bodies of white people and of other non-black races, physically attached to their test tube and umbilical cord and out of the white male and other non-black male reproductive cells. It's very racist to label a mixed race biracial person as black because by doing so it discriminates against their non-black parent and heritage. And I just want to say real quickly for the, some people like to say that the father determines the race, which is not true because all humans, they inherit 23 chromosomes from the mother and 23 chromosomes from the father, 50% of their genes, genetics from the mother and 50% from the father. And uh, by your logic of saying that the father determines the race, that would mean that all black men around the world could marry white women and other non-black women and claim to be doing it in order to preserve the black race. But in reality, they would really be producing light-skinned mixed people instead of dark-skinned black people. And that would also mean that biracial people as well, by your logic, because you consider them as black, that means they could also marry white people, their white side, and claim to be doing it to preserve the black race as well. And then the children of a biracial person and a white person, which would be a quadroon, they could also marry what a white person and claim to be doing it to preserve the black race. And then the children of them, an octoroon, could do that as well and claim to do it to preserve the black race. So basically, you'd have pure looking white people you'd have to consider as black because by the logic of the father being black, it doesn't make any sense. So the fact is, mixed race people are not black and never will be. Only two black people can produce a black African child. The same way that only two white people can produce a white child, two Indian people can produce an Indian child, uh, two Mexican people can produce a Mexican child, etc. So it doesn't make sense, like even with Barack Obama, he's the president of America, he's not the first black president. In most European countries, we use the term half caste, which is sounds a bit derogatory, uh, but that's what most people use over here. And in most African countries, which I also don't agree with, a lot of biracial people are considered as white in parts of Africa and in the Caribbean, and they also use the term coloured as well. But the main point is that mixed people are not black and the one drop rule is racist and a lot of black people in America don't actually realise it. But the one drop rule is actually a silent genocide against black people's racial continuity. It is silently killing and murdering them because it brainwashes and conditions the minds of a lot of black people in America to believe that any mixed person with more or less black DNA is black. So they have a greater chance of marrying or dating mixed people in large numbers, which will produce more mixed people. So if that continues, maybe 200 or 300 years down the line, if not sooner, there virtually won't be any more dark skinned black people left. So a lot of black people in America, don't, you don't realize that when you actually claim mixed people and say, oh, you're black, you're black, you're actually, um, you're actually promoting your own extinction. Absolutely nothing wrong with mixed people marrying black people or white people. It's perfect. I'm, I'm mixed, so I'd like to see more mixed people in the world. But the fact is, if black people in massive numbers keep going by this brainwashed mindset of mixed people being only black, it's, you're going you're gonna to disappear in the future. So that's it, guys. Just making this quick video that mixed people are not black. So anytime you see a white person or a non-black person walking down the street, just think to yourself and realize that biracial people literally come, literally come out of the bodies of these people. So it's impossible to be black. It's genetically and biologically impossible. Only a black man and a black woman can genetically and biologically produce a black baby. That's how it will always be. That's a reality. Peace out, guys.